Welcome, welcome to Who Wore It Better. I am your host, Barbie Reportington, and today it's all about leather armor. Our first model comes direct from the forest, skeleton and leather armor. The rich cowhide enhances the skeleton's contours and gives him an edgy style to walk the city. Our next model is Steve, stopping by from his farmstead. Hello, hello everybody, it's good to be here. Steve's plain leather dress look is all the rage from every biome, even the chuck ends like it. Oh my, oh my, skeleton wore it better. I have to get out of here, now. On the table today, spending a little more time with Minecraft action figures from Jazzwares Series 3, the series that never seems to end. We have Chicken Jockey, Steve in leather armor, Skeleton in leather armor, and a zombie villager. Can there be a squirrel in leather armor too? I don't see why not, Barry. Let's start off with Steve in the leather armor. See a Steve action figure for a change, why not? We don't see too many Steves come through here, that's for sure. On the back of the card, Steve prancing about. Steve in leather armor, type the player, behavior. Farmland is created by using a hoe on a dirt block and will grow seeds if there's a water supply nearby. Fact. Leather armor is the weakest armor, but it's the best for surviving early on because it's so easily acquired from cows. That's funny because I've really never used leather armor before. Other figures available, Squid Wither Skeleton I think we've seen, Chicken Jockey Today, Alex in Iron Armor, I don't know if that exists, and a Witch, we saw that this time last year. Okay Stevie, let's get you out. And outside of the package, Steve in leather armor. And sure enough, this figure comes with a hoe accessory. I think this is the first one for Jazzwares, if I'm not mistaken. And now Steve can start working on some crops, and it looks like we do have some crops included with this pack. Some yummy yellow Twistler sticks. Oh, no wait, wheat. Kind of a cool piece, I like how it's uh, built. Pretty simple. We have seen crops before, and I can't remember which pack those came with, but they came with another figure. And I think everyone agreed those were potatoes. Everyone was kind of confused what those were, but I think they were potatoes. So now we have a couple crops for Steve to work on. So like you would expect, Steve is covered in leather armor, a brown and bulky like extra. It looks pretty much the same thing going on with what we saw with the gold armor and the diamond. I don't think we've seen Steve in iron armor. For some reason I thought we did, but I'm not seeing him in my bin of Steves. So I guess we're still waiting for that one too. If you recall, back on the Ender Dragon box for series four, we're supposed to see something in chainmail, but that has yet to be seen. Or has it? Hi Steve, how's it going? Going good, Steve. I would like to say hello too. Hello, Steve. Hi. Hello. Hello there, Steve. Aha. And hi, Steve. Oh you guys, why do you do that? Since we are still on the subject of leather armor, here is Skeleton in Leather Armor. Skeleton in Leather Armor. Type Hostile Mobs. Behavior. Skeletor's bows become more accurate the harder the difficulty level. Fact. Skeletons have a small chance of spawning equipped with more than one piece of armor. In this case, lots of leather armor. Other figures available, Steve in gold armor, seen that, we're gonna see Zombie Villager today. We saw Blaze last time and Alex with a boat has yet to be seen by anyone. Shall we, Leather Armor Skeleton? And Skelly with a leather armor outside of the package. Feels like we just saw some leather armor. Uh, that's because we just did. Oh, that's right. Well, Skeleton is pulling off his leather armor looks pretty good. As always, we have a bow included with the skeleton. I've left the little rubber band thingy on. I like that because it kind of holds the accessory in place a little bit longer. We have a mossy cobblestone block included with this pack. 
Love the Jazzwares blocks. They're my favorite. Quick comparison with the two leather armors again, Skeleton's going to be just a little bit taller. And one of the nice things about having a Skeleton in armor figure is that they are much easier to stand. We have that huge boot footprint going on. Whereas normally, a Skeleton can be tricky to stand with those little tiny legs. Huh, what do you know? You should warn us when you shake the table like that. I probably should note too that I believe you could take these uh, helmets off. Oh, look at that, that one's solid. Here I'm talking about things. So neither one of their helmets can be removed. I'm sure if you found a chisel, you could get them to be removed. Let's see what the zombie villager is all about. Zombie villager. Type hostile mobs. Behavior. Zombie villagers can be a result of zombie attacks on villagers. They retain their profession and clothes, but with a tattered appearance. Fact. A zombie villager can be turned back into a normal villager by using a golden apple while they are affected by weakness. I don't think this zombie villager really does seem to have villager clothing. Looks more like a regular zombie clothing thing, but with the zombie head. Let's open up, look closer. Ah, zombie villager. Probably that one figure that ends up on the pegs for a long time. We shall see. Every time I see a zombie villager, I think of poor Bert from Sesame Street. What must have happened? Like the others, and I haven't really been mentioning it today, they all have the same articulation at the shoulders, the waist, the hips, and the head. Only you'll want to be a little careful with head rotation as his nose might become something of something in the way. Looks like we have some rotten flesh included. And it looks like we have some oak available here. And this is kind of interesting, it's a little bit transparent if you're looking at this. Um, I lied, it's not transparent, it's how it's reflecting off my table. I'm blind. Let's get your arm back on. That's gotta be embarrassing. We'll try to cure you someday. I thought I had a golden apple somewhere. Oh wait, wait! There we are. Have an apple. Gargamel! <laughs> you fool! Now I have the golden apple, and I will turn the Smurfs into gold! <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it works. Last figure of the day, which I think everyone would like to see, the Chicken Jockey. Chicken Jockey type hostile mobs. Behavior. A chicken jockey will move at the speed of a baby zombie and will target and attack the player. One of the rarest mobs to encounter, chicken jockeys will occasionally spawn equipped with a weapon. Other figures available, Squid, Weather Skeleton, Steve in Leather Armor, Alex in Iron Armor, and Witch. Things we've all seen except for Alex in Iron Armor. Alright, jockey of chicken, let's get you out. Outside of the box, chicken with jockey. Very clever. Even combined, one of the smaller figures available. As you can see from the side, they had to build an elaborate saddle for the chicken. This clear acrylic stander for the zombie to sit on. And currently, I think he's tied down with another clear rubber band, which I don't think I will remove. I don't really want him falling off yet. Oh wait, there is no rubber band. It's all in my mind today. So there you go, you just kind of fit it over the chicken like so. You can try to stand him up, but he's got a very small footprint, kind of like a skeleton, but you can do it. What is pretty impressive is the baby zombie has the same articulation as the other figures it looks like, with moving arms, rotating head, waist, and the legs. Good on that, Jazzwares. Now it's a rock jockey. Looks like the same chicken we have seen with some of the farm packs. I don't see too much difference other than this new chicken has a little more texture to its paint. And get the zombie back on board. 
and it looks like this may be the first time we have just a block of stone included. In the past, they've contained some sort of ore, so now we just get a block of stone. How exciting. And that is the Chicken Zombie Jockey Zombie. Alright, Chicken Jockey. And there is what we saw today. Hi. You can't grow wheat on wood. What do you know? You're a zombie. And looky there, I did. Oh. Can I have another golden apple? Uh, okay. Crazy Dave. Thank you. I had been a zombie too long. Minecraft Jazzwares Action Figures Series 3. These guys arrive on store shelves. Winter 2018 and run approximately $8 each. If you're looking for things in leather armor, now's your chance. And if you're looking to win the Winter Olympics as a chicken jockey, it's time to practice. Just be careful about giving golden apples to that zombie villager though. You never know who's inside. That's what I have to say about that. I need to be more careful hosting talk shows. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.